Oh, okay, so I just went through my files on my camera and I saw that I filmed a video last night Think about my Raz and I thought I'd give a proper intro. Don't let me drown Don't let me drown Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia and I'm Mental Health Videos here on YouTube. Today's video is me talking about my use of benzodiazepine, mainly lorazepam. I've made various other videos talking about all the different medications that I've been on and take currently and just to throw this in so people can't. <laughs> I'm not a professional. All my medication is moderated by trained professionals, my mental health team, my GP and you know, if you don't take stuff that you're not supposed to. Take what your doctor prescribes. Your doctor knows more than me. Um, I just talk about my own experience and share my life. I'm not saying therapy doesn't work. I'm not saying not to try therapy. I'm just simply sharing my experience. And just because I use medication doesn't mean you should, but it's also something that you could maybe use as a tool to, you know, open a conversation with a doctor. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just sharing my experience with you guys and yes I am pro medication. I'm also pro therapy. Therapy to me don't really mix great so I don't do it. So managing on my meds that's fine. Okay for anyone to do whatever works for you works and that's just the important message that I forgot to put in last night because I was very I want to say hyperactive but I wasn't really hyperactive. I was really tired but I was also just talking lip in life so <laughs> apologies but enjoy. Best intro ever. Also you can all this on my face. I got attacked in hospital, you know, I, what are you gonna do? I can't really, like, I could try, I, I could talk like that, but it's a bit annoying and I'm not going to. <laughs> Enjoy the video, guys. What's going on, you lot? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia, and I'm in tough videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. I've realised that I've done a few medication videos and I haven't actually talked about one of the main medications that help me get through a day. I haven't got a video on my channel talking about that and I was like how haven't I filmed that video already and also why haven't I filmed that already? Now I've got a video on my channel about diazepam, I've got a video about clonazepam, I've not got a video talking about lorazepam and lorazepam is something that I, I, I take every day, I rely on it to get through a day. I take it four times a day so I'm on one milligram four separate points in the day and it works very well for minimising how agitated I get and also my anxiety is manageable on it. I do also take clonazepam in combination with this and that does work for me and I know there are going to be some people commenting on this saying you can't be on benzos long term they only give you a few days worth. Now I get a week's worth of medication at a time I've got 28 lorazepam tablets this is what I need four times a day you know that's just how the medication works for me. Clonazepam I take 0.5 milligrams once a day and so with lorazepam I have got the finally got the um information leaflet i actually got this one as an inpatient because i asked i was like i've never actually read like the information leaflet that goes with lorazepam so i thought i'd give it a read and just talk with you guys about it there's a very real thing that's where people are very anti-benzodiazepine and i do understand it like don't get me wrong i'm not an idiot I, I understand why people are against the use of benzos and i understand why people don't think they should be prescribed however people also need to know that these medications do work and they do help and they do affect people in different ways some people can take them long term and they work others can't person to person this channel is about me sharing my experience so lorazepam also called atrovan is a benzodiazepine that is mainly used to help treat symptoms of anxiety I find lorazepam extremely and that is because I have very 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 intense anxiety and I do get very paranoid. What comes with my paranoia is often I get agitated by things and you know I need something to calm me down and benzodiazepines are remarkably good at that. That's literally what they're used for in hospitals. When people are like oh my god I got injected that's what people get injected with. They get injected with benzodiazepines usually lorazepam because it calms people down quickly. A few reasons really. It, it, I know it's used in a &E as a way of stopping seizures. Like these are a very powerful group of medications. Obviously I don't take it for seizures, I take it, you know, agitation, anxiety, that kind of thing. And that's okay. Loads of people do. Like it's not something I'm afraid to talk about. Like you guys know that I'm very pro medication. Well I am pro medication. I think especially for me. I'm someone who doesn't respond well to therapy. I'm someone who doesn't feel ready for therapy. Someone who if I can take a tablet 
and having an anxiety for the day, I'll take the tab. Yes, it's a quick fix and no, it doesn't fix the root cause. I've never said medication will and, you know, we, we all wish medication could do that, but it can't. But what medication can do is it can relieve the symptoms and make life livable. And that is literally what I'm about. I, I take medications to get through it. And I know people are like, oh my god, you're just addicted to them, you know, they're addictive, you need to come off them. No, I don't. Uh, my medication is monitored by my GP and now mental health team. I was prescribed these medications while in hospital by a psychiatrist who is very anti-benzodiazepine and there's a whole other story about that, but don't want to get into that right now. The consultant on that ward that I was in was very anti-benzodiazepine and I'm quite the opposite. And I'm prescribed the opposite. Like, I used to take three benzos and I stopped taking diazepam earlier this year because the effect that it had became a lot less and it just it didn't work well for me it didn't work great there was some side effects with it that I just couldn't deal with and it stopped numbing me out so when I say numbed out I mean it stopped me for you I medication on that the lorazepam the clonazepam in combination it numbs out the crisis level of my emotions it makes my emotions very predictable you know what you're gonna get if I haven't taken them my friends Rena saw this happen when I was in hospital because I didn't have the lorazepam for a day and I had a consultant and another staff member basically laying into me like vividly attacking me and I got so wound up I turned and punched a fucking table like what did the table do to me <laughs> You know, nothing. And then they kept going. And normally I'd never lash out at anyone. I'm not a violent person. My God, that's the last thing I want to put out there. Like, I am not a violent person. But mental illness aren't violent, not on the whole. People obviously are, but I'm, I'm not a violent person. And they kept going on at me and I walked over, picked up three books and I just threw them at this fucking consultant. And I was like, I can't even remember what I said, but I was so angry. And that was the first time I am like, my agitations ever got the best of me because I'm very good at like I, I can identify it I know it and when I experience it I take a tablet and gone I, I don't feel it on a very intense level that's a bad thing that's I think well BPD that people forget we feel emotions very intensely so when I was dealing with agitation and I wasn't on the medication it just got worse and worse and worse and I lashed out and you know that's why I take medication to prevent that and people are gonna probably be like oh you can't take it forever I will take it for as long as it works <laughs> I don't care whether that leads to addiction I don't care whether I don't care about the side effects I'd rather have the side effects of medication than be aggressive like I I, could, I would hate to be that person that's always aggressive. I couldn't do that. I would hate myself so much. I mean, I hate myself anyway, but I would literally hate myself even more if I was aggressive to people all the time because I'm, I'm not a person. You know, I'm not a violent person. I'm not a aggressive person. I'm not a big person. I'm not really that scary. I'm five foot two <laughs> and I'm not very big. Um, I find that the medication does work extremely well for me and I do know others that it does not work well for and I know that people again are very cautious of benzodiazepines and don't really want to take them but when you've tried other medications like I've tried beta blockers they send me fucking paranoid I was on one while I was in hospital and I was on one briefly before I went into hospital and my paranoia got that bad that I managed to order pepper spray and I climbed inside that cupboard onto the shelf that's in my cupboard and I was just a very real sighted uh, paranoia and that is why I can't take certain medications that's why I, I do take benzodiazepines rather than say beta blockers because benzos work better for me I'm not saying they're the only option I'm not saying medication's the only option I'm just saying it's what works for me I literally don't want to get hated on I'm, I, I'm like I try so hard not to get hated on but I still get hated on and it's and I think 
There's not actually that many side effects that are listed on this. Side effects, what happened? I don't know what to do about it. It's a side effect, very common. Sleepiness, dizziness. And yeah. Then we go to uncommon. So one in a hundred people might get these. Aggression, headache, confusion, amnesia. Rare, but can but important paradoxal reactions, which is you know, rage, anger, hallucinations, <laughs> and basically the opposite effect. Benzodiazepines are sedating. They make you feel like a zombie. And you know, like I said, I would much rather be a zombie than aggressive. <laughs> Like, I just would, and, and people are gonna be like, oh my god, you're not taking this seriously, and I am, like, I just, I take these medications for a while now, and they work, and it's not like I'm on, like, the highest dose or anything, like, I think with lorazepam, you can get given 2.5 milligram tablets, I think, don't quote me on that, I take one milligram tablet four times a day, it's literally what's right on there, 28 lorazepam, one milligram tablets, take Four day, take max four daily. Warning: This medicine may make you feel sleepy. It doesn't actually. Is this, is this the one? Lorazepam does not make me feel sleepy. It just mellows out my anxiety and all these intense emotions, and it makes me bubbly and happy. And the tablet has the power to do that, and it works. Why would I not take it? <laughs> like, tell me that. Like, people are like. Smoke cannabis instead. Never smoke cannabis. Probably never will. Um, I'd much rather stick to my prescribed medication, which um, is lorazepam. And yeah, people are like, oh, you're on a lot of medication, you know, you have BPD, you shouldn't be on meds. Literally, fuck off with that stigma, please. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm so tired. I'm like, I've had my sleeping tablets. Like I had the ones I'm prescribed. Oh my god, I didn't overdose. I just took the tablets that I'm prescribed. As prescribed. <laughs> and I'm rambling on about crap. I don't know. I don't even upload this. Do you know how many videos I have that like, I never upload? It's actually unbelievable. Anyway, I should start recording and lie down. I could sleep. Didn't lie up, you know? Night night, Lydia. Hopefully the scratch will be better in the morning. I'm still pissed off about that. Not the person who did it. Just the fact that it's my face. Like, if it was there, if it was, like, hideable, I wouldn't care. Honestly, I, I just wouldn't. But because it's there and I have no choice but to see it and feel the pain of it on my face. Trust me, I have my hot water bottle. It's wrapped up in a fucking scarf because I haven't got a cover for it. Oh my god, what is my life? I have a I had to, I have a hot water bottle, but I don't have a cover for it, so I wrapped up it in one of the scarf things I have. Imagine oh there's a police helicopter outside my when I feel more just full stop. No, when I feel less like I'm about to keel over and fall asleep. I just snorted like a pig. Ah, <sighs> isn't life wonderful? Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown.